Hello, and welcome back to Elementia. We've made some good progress here in Island 6. Wow, I've, we've made some great progress. I didn't even realize how many we've done. Almost done already. Just uh, four levels left. And we skipped over Puppet last time because I feel like it's going to take a little bit of time. So let's just get to that right away. Dominate thy weak-willed puppets. A world reactive of you. And that's it. So I, I remember that I started with this one, I think. Where I just like went here and then jumped. And that was fine. And these guys don't like move or anything. Well, they move based on what you do. Yeah, like this guy, you can't really avoid. You can't avoid. Okay, never mind. That's weird. Why can you avoid that? That doesn't... This doesn't feel like you're supposed to be able to avoid it. Okay, there we go. I, I don't know. I feel like maybe this one is a lot more lenient at this point. Like you can't... Oh, you can just avoid them a lot. Let's just try the order that I remember. Where I think I did this and then I like dropped down. God damn it. I keep jumping too early, but that's fine. So there, and then like jump over this way. Yeah. Oh, and there's one here. And then I think we went up here. It's kind of a sketchy jump. There we go. Now though, I guess I jump over here. Yeah, and that moves away. And then we jump over here and up. And just move all over here. Just walk over there. All right. Makes sense. Where's this going to take me? Can I jump that? Yes, I can. So now I'm like, I'm back to the start. Can I just jump over here? Yes, I can. But then now I didn't mean to fall. Damn it. I can just I can just start with this one instead because now I know this one. I know the other ones work in a sequence. Yeah, so that works. Uh wait, I'm I'm just here. So now I can jump up this way. Or no, I'm on like a different corner, right? I think so. Oh yeah, I can I can go over here. Wait, where am I? Oh yeah, I'm like all turned around. It's that one. That's the one I like I want to start with. And I I guess you just jump over, yeah? That's fine. I keep not jumping, but it it worked out. This jump is really difficult. There we go. You have to do it like way at the end. Yeah, now you jump up here. And then just walk over to this one. And this is the last one. And we just walk. Walk back. And drop in. Yeah. That's really simple. And the order didn't really matter. I could have done that either way. Let's try it a couple more times just to confirm. So if I do the order I started out with, or hell, let's just do another order, like this one, I then go, well, this feels kind of cheap. I don't feel like I'm supposed to do that. Hold on. I want to do something that feels okay. So like this, and then just jump over him. I can just like drop down. That's fine. And then we go, like, over here instead. Damn it. God damn it, I bonk my head. Yeah, that those jumps are really difficult. I don't know, like, if you're supposed to do them or what. Like, what else do you do once you're down here? You have to jump up either here or here. I don't think there's any other way to get up. Whoa. Oh god, I'm just, like, inside the soul. Yeah, like, that doesn't work. That angle doesn't work. 
But if that angle doesn't work, then what angle does work? How do I, like, make that consistently work? I just go, like, over here instead? No. There we go. Yeah, that's just a really weird jump. I kind of dislike that jump. Yeah, I, I don't know what to think about this level. I think I like it, but... It does feel like it might be quite a bit of just trial and error. Especially these jumps, like, they're, they're so weird it almost feels like I'm not supposed to be able to do them. And here... Can I jump up here as well? Yes, I can. That one doesn't work. Okay, you're not supposed to stand there, I don't think. But I can jump over here. That's fine. And now get up this way, like before. And is that the end? Yeah, that's the end. Yeah, this level is weird. I feel like it's changed too, but I'm not entirely sure. Maybe not. Just kind of a weird level. Reactionary. Creational opposites. Embrace randomized of ends. Okay, what does that mean? Over there? What? I just, like, hit it when it was spawning. Oh, come on. I don't want to have that happen that early. I can't jump be- What? Well, fuck you! You can't just spawn on top of me, that's bullshit. And now I'm just getting, like, no souls, because randomness. Oh, there's one I'm missing. There's two I'm missing, I think. I think there was one... I don't know, I lost it. I'm pretty sure there was another soul, like, already this one. I don't think I can hit that anymore. I can't aim higher than this. So what do I do then? I'm just screwed? I just have to reset, I suppose? Because I just didn't see it in time? God, yeah, they're really hard to see, these. Holy crap, they're hard to see. They just, like, speed on up super fast, and from a distance, you can hardly even tell them apart from the, like, random particles. I'm not sure I like that. I don't really like this level. It's randomized, but in an annoying way. Like, the other one with randomized platforms feels fine, because it's, like, randomization you can react to. This one just feels like... How do you even... You can't... You don't have eyes in the back of your head. You can't, like, keep track of everything that's happening. And there's already two souls. Already, they all fucking spawned. And I didn't even see them. Yeah, I, I don't like that. I don't like this level. I think it's just too chaotic. Like, I feel like you can have them appear in randomized places and maybe have randomized enemy spawns, but I feel like the souls themselves should spawn in a, like, strict frequency every time. Like, you should have a pattern of spawning so that you know, oh, here's one, I see it spawning, hit that, then you can, like, re-collect your thoughts and await the second one spawning. Here it's like, oh, I've hit the first one, oh, but the remaining three have all already spawned and are, like, halfway up the, the sky and you can't hit them anymore. I don't know, I just, I don't like that mechanic at all. Plummet. Funnel plummet surroundings. Yeah, this dropper level. And you have to like... Oh, come on. You have to hit the uh, souls on the way. And just barely 
avoid these. I feel like this one was also kind of random, because you don't have enough time to react to where the souls are. So you just have to, like, know... Did I miss one? You just have to know where the souls are going to be before you even know. Yeah, like that. I There, there was no way. There was no way I could have could have caught that one. I just had to know, yeah, it's going to spawn there, which is just kind of annoying. I remember I complained about that last time as well. I just don't think that's a good mechanic at all. So, like, where is the next one at this point? Right there? Okay, so we go down. Yeah, I don't like this much. I feel like, if anything, you should just be allowed to, like, repeat it. Like, when you fall to the bottom, it should just loop the ones that you didn't... The, the like, sequences, the sections that you didn't complete. That would make sense. And now this one is, like... I don't even know. To the left? To the right? All around? I guess I missed it. I didn't even see where it fucking was. Yeah, this is a shit level. Mechanically, it's fine, but I just don't like this at all. And as far as I can tell, nothing has changed here. This is exactly how I remember it and being annoyed with it, too. Because, yeah, I mean, logically, you would think, oh, the next one is going to be, like, to the left, then. Because this one is... Oh, come on. Yeah, as I'm saying, you have to be moving towards it before you can even possibly know where it's going to spawn. You have no indication, you just have to know. I just have to know it's back here. I know it's going to be back here because I've done this, and that's the only fucking reason. Alright, now I just need to see. I just, I don't even see it. I don't even see the fucking soul! Where is the soul? Where does the last soul spawn? There is no fucking indication! It's so bad! This might be one of the worst levels, honestly. It's just so stupid. And I can't believe this one wasn't changed when other ones have been dumbed down so much for, like, way more minor transgressions than this one. There it is. Okay. Well, now I know. Yeah, there have been others that had, like, minor issues that were dumbed down to the point where there's no challenge in the level anymore. But this one has, like, a major fucking issue. And this hasn't been touched at all. It's just kind of strange to me. If anything, you should be able to see the souls, like, all the time. If you could just see them instead of, like, fading into existence like that, it should just be visible the entire way, so you can like see, oh, first soul is here, the next biggest one is over there, the next one is there, and it's just about like avoiding the uh, sections of Fasims. That I think would have been fine, but yeah, I, I hate this level. I think this is a shitty level. Impetus. Last, last level in uh, Island 6. Not only fools rush in. I see. Run, window of time. Immediate depart. Okay. Well, that didn't work. That didn't work either. Not only fools rush in. Th that's a terrible hint. Because you don't rush in in this level. You can't rush in. You have to time it perfectly. Because if you don't time it, then... You don't have enough time. Yeah, so that that was bad again. That this it's completely the opposite of what this hint says. Damn it. There's no rushing at all. It's waiting patiently for the cycle to align so that you can do it all in one go. Oh come on, that was perfect. Fuck you. Nope. Oh, I got it. I don't think I'm gonna make it in time for the rest, though. Damn it, yeah, I, I 
Should have seen that coming. The like bait at the end. Nope. When is the first place, the first time I can jump? Can I just jump right away? I guess that's what it means by rushing in. Just go right at the start. And then you get baited there. Yeah, I just don't like these mechanics where it's like... There's nothing you can do to prepare for what's happening. It's just you have to fall for it and then just do it again. But, I don't know. I guess that's many puzzle games, really. Oh, fuck you. Come on, man. Yeah, that's just... You can't say... Not only fools rush in, run window of time, immediate depart, and then... Psych! You don't immediate depart at the end. That's the last thing you want to do. Man, Island 6 fucking sucks. I hate the Island 6. There's so many terrible levels here. And they haven't been fixed at all. At least that part is, is fine. Like, rushing in. Oh my god, seriously? It's that much? You have to jump back to the previous one in order to get that one in time. I don't know. That has to be reflected in the hints, in my opinion. Or I guess you can do that. Never mind. I guess you just rush faster than I was doing it. But, I don't know. I guess that's my bad. I guess my complaints are unwarranted, but even so, I feel like there's that's only one specific order, and I guess that's that's what the hint means. Just do it super fast from the very get-go. Don't waste a single moment. If you do, then you just like get it in one single go. Let me try that again. It's actually kind of hard to do. You almost I I like this one more if it's more about the timing, but I guess that's not the point of it. It's impetus. Yeah. Alright. Fair enough. I don't really like the hint. I mean, I, I feel like the hint is good when you when you find that pattern. But finding that pattern is not really, like, easy with the hint. Because when you're playing it the first time, there's no way you can do it that fast. You You will be, like trying to figure out how it works and the timings and stuff and when you do that it's just like really fucking punishing and almost impossible i don't know maybe that's just a, a shitty whiny complaint or something i can't really tell sometimes but i don't think i like that level very much birth of release relish the sunshine years of indulgence yep Still, just, I'm getting nothing out of the, like, poetic nature of this, uh, this game. So here we go, Island 7. We'll just get in, do a couple levels here. Let's start with... Oh, this one took me forever. Escalate. But I think this one kind of took me forever for my... Like, it was my own fault. Oh, these are new. Oh! You can, like, stop the es escalators? Or slow them down? Or control their speed. It's a speed setting. One, two, or three. And when they're at three, they're the fastest. Okay. But how does that even help you? Like, I guess this one should not be on three. That's way too fast. This one could maybe be on two. And this one could be on... One. I don't know, I mean, I feel like, why not just have all of them on one? If they're all on one, then you have the most time. And you still, you can still like... Oh no, maybe... Maybe it's a bit hard to, uh... Make anything happen... With that timing. Wait, what happened now? Everything is, like, much slower. Yeah, this this is such clown vomit. I don't hate it, though. It just looks insane. And that's it. I mean, that's very simple. So why, why would you just 
I don't know. I, I don't understand. Why would you have these at all? If you leave these on the initial values, there's like no way you can make use of number three. You can hardly even climb up at all. There's like nothing you can do. Nope. I yeah, I guess when they're at the default, it's it's almost impossible. You can't really do anything. You can't just jump up the middle one though. That's kind of weird. So wait, if the middle one is on if we set this Oh. Oh, that just vanishes. That stops completely, really? If the middle one is on 3, it's kind of good. But then we have like the the left one on 1 or maybe 2. But yeah, like, if I can just fucking get up here. I remember that, just like falling through the platforms over and over. Yeah, you just need the middle one at that pace. Now what happened? This one also froze, so it's just the middle one. Yeah, that's, that's different, right? That didn't happen before. And I feel like it's also way condensed. Maybe that's wrong, but I, I feel like... It was a much bigger level, like it took so long to climb up to the next stage. Not sure. Well, I guess let's do one more. Blink. Defy thy blink. Defy thy blink. It's just two different sets. Yeah, okay, and then now, it's just faster, and it's just one. You just get one and then go back. So I probably want to go, like, now, if I want to go to this one. Damn it, nope, that was wrong, I should have jumped higher. Alright, so right at the start, we can jump there. And, ah, hmm, ah. Yeah, that's better. That works. So, like... Now. Yeah. Almost, almost. That should work. Yeah, that's fine. You can just adapt to whichever one shows up there, that's fine. Damn it, I didn't jump. Damn it. This one isn't even hard, it's just, yeah, I'm trying to do one specific timing and just failing. Ah, I guess I can't jump that? I thought I could. Maybe I'm just, like, not holding it for long enough. I feel like if I just move over. If I just go here, step on this one, but then... No. No, you just... You can't do it from that bottom one. You cannot get to the middle. So, you have to, like, jump here, step over, jump up to this one. There we go. It's a little awkward. I don't remember it being awkward like that last time, but... I don't know if it's changed at all. Maybe, I, I think I'm just like tilted, basically, for uh, from some of the level 6 levels. I'm just like, it got me in a bad mood and I'm not patient anymore. I'm not like, playing correctly. Yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see next time. I'll just get in with a fresh start again. But, man, level 6, worst fucking island by far. But it's not all bad. There were some good levels on there as well. But, man, some of those levels just rub me the wrong way and I I'm disappointed they weren't changed because every other level that rubbed me the wrong way has been made like way too easy now and even some levels that I enjoyed the difficulty of they have also been like dumbed down to the extreme so I don't know I'm I'm a little conflicted about this whole uh, update so far at least visually it still looks il like Elementia there's no difference there. I can't really remember what's been toned down with the whole, like, 
things being too hard to look at and stuff. Again, I would have to rewatch my series to tell the difference, but I'll leave that for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. More Island 7 next time. Bye-bye.